Welcome to Too Much Neil Young. I'm Will. I'm your host. And today we have, from 2019, an album called Colorado. Um, You can see my um, Neil Young and Crazy Horse is upside down, so I'm pretty sure this is worth a lot of money. Anyway, this is recorded in the Rocky Mountains, and it's dedicated to Elliot Roberts, who was the former manager, confidant, etc. of Neil Young. Um, I recently saw Neil Young on the Coastal Tour. This is 2023, and I noticed one of the road cases had a huge photograph of Elliot Roberts on it. Uh, And then I recently was watching The Barn, the movie, um, for this program I'm making right here, right now. And I noticed that same uh, photograph was on the side of a road case. So you can see it there as well. Uh, Anyway, Colorado is called clunky by some, and admittedly it is a little uneven. It contains plenty of tunes broaching the current political climate, and of course the climate outside which is as much as you would expect from Neil Young. Niels, that's Lofgren, Flip Ya Flip is back uh, again after decades in the band. Um, Let's talk about some of these tunes. I like Think of Me, although I've noticed lately I'm starting to name the first tune on every album, so maybe that's something else to analyze. Uh, Green is Blue is good. Eternity and uh, the last tune I do. So let's take a look at the inside. You can see the band there playing away. Here's the back cover, which is very astronomy ick. Astronomic. Anyway, Colorado is a stream of consciousness LP filled with passion and honesty, plenty of noisy guitars and enough quiet moments as well. Some of the quiet moments wind up being my favorites on here. Um, We did see this on the big screen, it was one night only, and um, it was fun to look at the process, I think it was fun, and especially because I hadn't checked in with Neil Young in many, many years, and there he was on the big screen, and he's much, was a much more elderly man, of course. Um, anyway, there were amplifier volumes galore and, of course, oxygen, oxygen tanks alike because of the high elevation. Um, of course, the Guardian rock scribes shit all over it. My thing is, you know, if you're not really predisposed to like this music, why in, why in the hell would you sit through a movie? So the movie was maybe 90 minutes, and it's a little tedious, but isn't, in fact, recording records a little tedious? So I thought it was pretty, you know... A worthwhile experience and whether or not any new ground was covered seems irrelevant so anyway you missed the boat again I'm glad you're watching and I hope you like this album if you have some favorite tracks or you saw the movie either in theaters or out there in the world and have some thoughts about it drop me a note below we'll see you again thanks so much